Good morning. <clears throat> I'm over here at Pan Pacific Park here in LA and I just walked four miles and uh, I got this backpack on and it has 10 pounds of weight in it. <clears throat> what I have found is if I'm walking every day, it's like the same thing as if you do an exercise every day and you use the same weight every day, like if you're doing a um, barbells or, or a bench press. If you're using the same weight all the time, your body gets acclimated to it and then you stop progressing, you stop building muscle, you stop getting stronger, you hit like a wall. And that's what I found when I'm walking is that I, uh, at first I was like losing weight and um, now I'm not losing the weight because my body has gotten acclimated to the walking every day without any weights on. <clears throat> And because of that, I have to make it challenging for my body to keep presenting new things to it um, so it doesn't ever get to that equilibrium place to where it stops progressing or getting stronger um, or building more muscle. <clears throat> and the, one of the ways I do that is through having a backpack with 10 pounds of weight in it. Now, actually, I have... I have some ankle weights, and these ankle weights are 10 pounds each of ankle weights, and they have, they're have five pounds each for each ankle. And I know it's, uh, everything that I've done, all the research that I've done, show that putting the ankle weights on, you have to be very careful because uh, you can trip, your, your step isn't as quick to catch yourself if you're going to fall. So it's not as safe. You can ask just about any therapist and they'll tell you it's better to have them in a backpack, the weights in a backpack, than on your, your ankles. So I have these ankle weights and they fit very nicely into my backpack. And <clears throat> I also have the rest of the weights. So I got um, eight pounds down low at the bottom of the backpack. And then I have a pocket up higher in my backpack up here. And this has actually the four pounds of weights, and they're just like little bags like this uh, that come with the ankle weights that come apart. So it's a total of 10 pounds that's in my backpack. <clears throat> yeah, so I do this periodically. The other thing that I do, um, and I do this probably every day or every other day, which is I will take my walk and as you've seen on my other videos, I challenge myself with different things like uh, jump roping. And it's like yesterday I did jump roping and I, I challenged myself, I pushed myself a little bit further than I usually do. And what I did is I did a hundred jump ropes, you know, spinning, you know, really fast. So I did a hundred and I did that four times and I gave myself a one minute break between each jump rope so I did 400 jumps which actually is pushing it for me because I was starting off at doing 60 and then I built up to 80 and then I built up to 100 and I would do that for three sets but now yesterday I pushed myself because I did 100 100 and 100 and 100 I did that four times so a total of 400 jumps just to give you an idea now that's pushing the body it's also what they have found in science and studying the body is that our bodies are meant to be under stress and that's how it grows you know and you know thousand years ago thousands of years ago we had to put our bodies under stress our bodies were ready to run if we got say if there was a, a, a an animal chasing us we would run for our lives and that's the get the adrenaline going um, get the endorphins going and get your body running as fast as it could away from the tiger or whatever it is that's chasing you uh, as a survival and if you could do that periodically a couple times a week or more to where you're actually stressing the body out that's a really good thing uh, the other thing i do is i do um, the, the, the jump roping i also do jumping jacks and i challenge myself to do the same thing with jumping jacks right now i do three I do three sets of uh, this my 
my ear set thing just told me to power off, so I'm hoping that the volume's coming over well. But uh, the the jumping jacks, and I'm doing right now, I'm doing uh, 50 jumping jacks, and I'm doing that three times. So as a challenge for me, the next time I do it, I'll up it to maybe 70 jumping jacks three times. Or I can go 50 jumping jacks and do that with four sets. Um, yeah, so that works, that works well too. The other thing that you can do too is sprinting. Is it, while you're walking and you can just run as fast as you can for 30 seconds. As fast as you can, get everything that you got for 30 seconds and do that three or four times during a walk if that works for you. So anything that you can do to stress the body and not have it be so comfortable all the time to get the heartbeat up, to get the blood running through your body and, and feeling good. So I just want to wish you all a great day today. It's Saturday and it's a beautiful day out here in California as usual. We don't get very much rain. I wish we got more. We could definitely use it because the lakes and the reservoirs are all drying up. Anyways, I salute you, give my love to you guys, and you guys have a beautiful day. Bye.